can't see me. Let's go. What up, what, what, what up, y'all? You can't see me here today back again. You already know what it is. So today, guys, I'm going to show you how to install an SSD in a laptop. And more specifically, it's the Lenovo Y700, all right? So first, you want to gather all of your tools. Get your SSD. Make sure you have a screwdriver, a small Phillips head. Um, you want to get some type of flat-end tool, similar to like a butter knife, to open the laptop. And you'll want to have the user's manual, but that's optional, but uh, the manual of the RAM and or the laptop, just to make sure you can check on everything, all right? So let's go on and jump right into it. So the Lenovo laptop has 11 screws all around the perimeter, and then it has one in the center. So you'll want to unscrew all of these, which I am about to do. And make sure you keep up with all your screws, okay? Don't lose those because you're going to need them. So now this next part can be a little tricky, and that's opening, as you see me trying to apply pressure, opening the case because they seal it so neatly. That's why I recommend a butter knife or a flathead screwdriver, or I even used a knife in a tool kit. Uh, but you need something that's small, very flat, but sharp enough to wedge in between. And it's not easy to do, let me tell you. It took a little finagling, but I would say start on one of the sides and kind of wiggle it and wedge it open and then slide down and if you just keep working with it you'll eventually get it open but it's not easy and be careful because you can't scratch it and and damage it so something rubber but flat like a screwdriver probably helps to make it easier now that we have lifted the bottom panel off you can see the inner components uh, right here is where the RAM or memory is, and then it's right beside the hard drive. And check out my video if you want to know how to properly install uh, memory. I installed 32 gigs of RAM as I upgraded it because this one comes stock with 16. So check that video out, all right? You can click, and uh, you can see that, okay? But we'll go right here to the SSD that we're going to flop out for this optical drive. So this is the Samsung 850 Evo solid state drive. And it's a really great um, SSD, only the Pro is better. Um, but it increases your boot times and the speeds of your read and write uh, tremendously. Uh, you can look up the stats, but it is a major upgrade. You will notice it when you boot your computer up. My computer will start coming up instantly. So you can see it right here. We're gonna swap it out. But first, we're gonna prepare to remove the housing bracket that holds the hard drive in. It has four screws that how that keep the housing bracket in the laptop. So you have one right here, one right here, uh, one right here, and one on the other side. So we're gonna unscrew these four screws so we can get the bracket out of the laptop. So let's go ahead and unscrew all of these screws all four um sometimes they may kind of fall in beside so you know try to be careful and lift them out and then next there is a blue connector uh right here that you'll want to disconnect but there is a clasp right here that's the clasp okay so you want to lift that clasp up like i'm doing here um and when you lift that clasp it'll release the blue connector so i'm lifting it up right now uh, once i move my hand once you lift it up, you can pull it out very easily, okay? But I'm going to show you. You see the way that clasp flips up and down? And see, it'll go back. So, yeah, you'll want to remove the clasp. And then, uh, now that everything has been unscrewed and removed, you can lift up. You may have to, like I say, use your little screwdriver to wedge the bracket out if it doesn't just come up easily. But it should come up fairly easily. Just only use that to kind of get your fingers under it, okay? And then there are four screws uh housing or keeping the bracket connected to the hard drive so we're going to unscrew those next so once you've removed all four screws then we're going to remove this connector right here and after that we'll lift up the um aluminum but yes you want to take that connector off your SATA, and you see that you see how it matches and we're gonna take it off and we're gonna put it back on the new hard drive, okay? But yes, you wanna remove that connector piece and now we're going to take the hard drive out of this bracket. So um, that, because of the hard drive being in so long, the aluminum uh, 
will kind of stick to it a little bit and that's okay but we do want to use this aluminum on the other hard drive so you want to kind of peel it up and you want to work the hard drive out of the bracket so yeah after being on for a long time it may be stuck but it's okay uh, you'll just want to get it off and get the hard drive out so as you can see here's your empty bracket cartridge the housing for your hard drive and you can see they're, they're the same size of course but that's the difference between the mechanical drive and your SSD um, and it's basically just the RAM the fact that it's a uh, different type of memory uh, just like a RAM uh, memory so it's a lot faster so now we're gonna replace it once again you're gonna want your connector end of your hard drive to stick out through this aluminum okay so you see that you'll want to place it in just like you took the other one out and then you'll want to uh, press this aluminum back down so go ahead and just kind of try to smooth it down as best you can you know, nice and smooth nice and smooth you see that and boom you're good you're good to go and then of course you're gonna re uh, put the connector back in and this basically provides your uh, SATA and power um, through this little connector device piece so you put that back on firmly and then you're gonna put your screws back in and screw all four back around the housing I like to place them in and then I screw them and once you've got all four of your screws screw back in like so boom we're good you do all four and now you'll want to put the bracket housing uh, back in and make sure you turn it in the correct direction so that that blue connector can um, go back into that uh, connection slot so bam you see putting that back in and then you want to flip back down that little clamp you see that boom so now we're good and then of course you're gonna want to screw your four screws back into the bracket housing so that it stays neatly uh, back in your hard drive so I'm gonna do that do all four um, and sometimes this can be funny because the screws uh, will fall off the screwdriver if you don't have a magnetized screwdriver. So you just got to kind of be careful um, so you don't lose your screws and get them in there. But yeah, we're going to screw all four back in now. And once you get done screwing in the bracket, I mean, that's basically it. Um, after you do that, you're just going to put your uh, case or your bottom cover back on. Um, you know, you got to get it back over the edge, get it seated. But I mean, we're, we're basically done, people. That is it. You've installed your new SSD hard drive. So be proud. Pat yourself on the back. Uh, go ahead and put your screws back in. And that's it. Yeah, give yourself a round of applause. And yes, thank you. So if you got any tips, if you um know any better ways to do the process, or if you got any questions, man, leave them in the comments. Let me know. Um, otherwise, if this was helpful for you, please share it. Uh, like I said, leave me a comment. Uh, make sure you check me out on social media. Uh, like I said, like, subscribe. If you're not subscribed to the channel, I do unboxings. I do more installations. And yeah, hit me up on social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Tumblr. Um, yeah, I'm on everything. I'm even doing me a Discord. Um, I'm on a few other Discord servers, but I'm going to do my own. So yeah. Just hit me up if you have any questions, man, and I love to help and share the information as much as I can, all right? So, yeah, that's it. You can see me. We've done a great installation of the SSD into the Lenovo Y700 laptop. So, you know what you must do above all things. Make your next move your best move, all right? Peace. You can't see me. Let's go. Thank you for checking me out at You Can't See Me TV. I'm You Can't See Me Gamer. Please like and subscribe to stay updated and check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All right.